Having this kind of trip is really like amazing for our players just because it's something that doesn't happen often, you know. Just for us to experience that is just like spectacular. Going to France with a whole bunch of guys you're close to is just so amazing. Like I, I can't like I can't put it into words, you know. Let's get this bread. Better than a practice when we have practice together.
craft against a young team and we were able to take away a lot of learning experience against a great national one team and uh, we're all cheering for STD next season. Thank you again for having us and looking forward to next game on Wednesday against uh, Montevideo. line here and I'll give you guys some awesome poppies. You can put it in this box and um, maybe say thanks. Just seeing the soldiers go through what they went through was, was very sad. You know, it made me understand more and appreciate the country more and appreciate our Canadian soldiers. Thanks to Richard for that because without that I don't know if I would ever comprehend what really happened during the war.
matchs amicaux avec autant d'intensité, avec autant d'ambiance aussi. C'était agréable de voir de l'ambiance comme ça. Il faut savoir que la team CRS était, était bien présente à, à Montigny. Et sur les deux dernières minutes, euh, c'est là où euh, Laurier revient, revient devant. Et c'est à ce moment-là, forcément, qu'il va, il va, il va se passer quelque chose d'un côté ou de l'autre. Et c'est Ali qui a pris le match à son compte à ce moment-là sur un, un, un tir. Alexandre Ménard, the head coach of the Rouen Metropole Basket, France. I had a chance to work with the players. We tried to show them our philosophy, defensively speaking. And, and it was a pleasure because they really tried to do it like the, the, the best they could. Thanks to their aggressiveness, their intensity, we had a bunch of problems to, to stop them. And it was a great experience for, for us. It was also good to see how much they are disciplined and how much they have routines. I'm talking about warm-up stations. Even for us, as a professional team, I think it could be good to bear in mind for the future. So I thank you very much for this experience. Something that was very memorable on this trip for me would have to be the games. I'm in my last year and I'm trying to go play professional after this year. It was both inspiring and humbling in a sense where I know that how far I have to work to play with the professionals and then as well as inspiring to see how they play. The speed of the game is very fast here. They make quick decisions and you have to have a high IQ to play at this level. Aujourd'hui, match amical, c'était le quatrième match pour l'équipe canadienne depuis qu'ils sont arrivés en France. J'avais pu, grâce à, au match qu'ils ont fait précédemment, prendre des informations sur eux très rapidement, savoir quels étaient les, les shooters, les joueurs qui scoraient beaucoup. On m'avait parlé beaucoup du numéro 6, le meneur de jeu. On a essayé euh, de le restreindre aujourd'hui pour qu'il marque un peu moins de points. 
Et il est tellement talentueux que bah, malgré tout, on n'a pas réussi à, à le stopper. Il a, il a fait briller l'équipe. Euh, il a emmené l'équipe des Lauriers vers la victoire, qu'on perd de 10 points. Mais bon, ce n'est pas l'histoire d'un seul joueur, même si lui est très très bon. J'ai été impressionné par l'intensité que peuvent développer euh, l'équipe canadienne, puisque du début jusqu'à la première minute, jusqu'à la dernière minute, il y a la même intensité en défense, la même intensité en attaque pour réaliser les, les systèmes de jeu dans les cours. C'est un superbe exemple pour nos jeunes qui sont venus, les jeunes du club, de voir une équipe comme ça de ce niveau-là combattre, montrer des valeurs un petit peu, celles qu'on essaye de développer ici, de, de combat, de, de rigueur. Et, donc voilà, un vrai plaisir d'avoir échangé avec le Canada. Les échos que j'ai eus, parce que ça fait une semaine qu'ils sont là, tous les échos ont été bons. Dans chaque club où ils sont passés, on m'a dit que c'était une équipe qui montrait vraiment l'exemple pour les jeunes. Donc vraiment très très ravi et j'aimerais bien, si c'était possible, de renouveler chaque année, si on pouvait les accueillir, ça serait un grand plaisir. Surtout que ça a accueilli vraiment beaucoup beaucoup de monde pour nous parce que l'affiche est alléchante et les gens ont, venu, ont eu envie de venir voir ce, ce match et c'est un grand plaisir. J'aimerais bien que ça, ça soit plus régulier, même si je sais que ce n'est pas facile parce que le Canada c'est très loin, mais je remercie nos amis canadiens et Justin d'être venus jusqu'ici. Hi, I'm Deb McClatchy. I'm President and Vice Chancellor of Wilfrid Laurier University. I'm really pleased to be here today in Notre Dame de Gravenchon. Our men's uh, basketball team uh, just finished defeating uh, the CF Gravenchon basketball team, 76 to 66. Uh, they've had a great week here in France, playing a number of different basketball teams. But I also think that they've had an opportunity to really experience the culture of France and some of the history. Really an, an opportunity to have some perspective and really understand what leading lives of leadership and purpose is all about, which of course is, is what Laurier is all about. First gym I played organized club basketball. So here's the where everything started. Everything started here. La salle du village. That's that was a, the change room. A home change room. Visitor change room there. A lot of memories. A lot of good memories. One my best highlight that was never caught on tape was actually here. This trip was more than basketball. We were able to have an amazing cultural experience, being able to try different foods and see different things, different architecture, the food in general. I would say it's just amazing in France. This trip wouldn't be possible without all the people that helped us get here, all the amazing donations, and the coaches, the, the coaching staff, all the parents as well. I just wanted to say thank you and au revoir. One, two, three.
I think this trip was really special and uh, it meant a lot to everyone, especially me. And I think we've uh, got enough stories and memories and experiences uh, to last us a lifetime. And we've created a brotherhood that's that's really special to us and I think uh, we're really proud of. Uh, a lot of us on the team are aspiring to be pros one day. So having this experience this summer, playing against multiple pro teams and having that opportunity to make connections with pro coaches and pro players, giving us advice and insight on what it's like to be a pro. and kind of what's expected of you in the future. So meeting Justin's family was probably one of the most special parts of the trip. Him opening up to us and opening his family up to us was really special. Being able to hear stories from so many different family members about how he grew up and even being able to see where he grew up was was really special and kind of sheds light into, into who he is as a person and how he's grown up as a man. So just being able to travel the world with some of your brothers is really once in a lifetime experience. So being able to experience that and uh, create bonds and even gain chemistry on the court playing against pros is, was really special and it was a great opportunity for us.